Okay, how about I'll sit here next to my gym. And I have fat to relax everyone. Just relax. Sometimes it's like, ugh. Like, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's not pretty, guys. It's not pretty. <laughs> I wanted my gym to be the background because I'm talking about weight loss and somehow gyms are supposed to be like the economy of losing weight even though I barely touch my gym and gymming is actually not that effective in losing weight but that's not what the weight industry like the gym industry and the body what am I saying like diet industry and like food industry wants you to believe it really the gym does not help even though that's the background I just thought it was iconic because what should I do should I be in the kitchen I guess I should be in the kitchen to talk about weight loss. We're in the bedroom where my gym also happens to be. And there's no other working out in this bedroom, if you know what I'm saying. Because we have children, and children just make you stop fucking. It just makes you stop. Moving on. So this video is about how I lost the baby weight, but also I'm in like the best shape I've, I've ever been in. At, 30 years old. I guess it's kind of like me gloating about how amazing my body is now. Cause like, look at my body. Just, just look at it. It's, it's pretty dope, huh? Yeah, and this is after I've been eating, so. I am a little pudgy. I don't lounge around in like my sports bra and my, like my beige sweats. It's so funny. <laughs> I just filmed like Asian things to do to save money. I saw Annie Joffrey in like his workout set on her channel and she's like sponsored by Fabletics. And I went to Fabli Fa Fa I went to Fabletics. It's really expensive. I think like some of the stuff is a hundred or like $160 for a set. I don't I don't fucking know. It was like really expensive. <laughs> so I went on AliExpress after key Asian habits. I found this set for like 20 bucks. I'll try to link it. I think it's still available. The bra and the pants were 20 bucks together. So that was a win. It's like, it's just so beautiful. I never wear it though, because I'm a mom. So I thought I'd wear it for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> so I wanted to say that if you're a mom and you're struggling with your body image, I get you. When I- It's editing tin. Um, I had a few things to say and I forgot to film them, so here we go. I'm gonna keep my fat photos up throughout a lot of this video because I find that to be hilarious. I'm also going to put up some of some pictures of my fat ass feet after giving birth. They were really huge and they still scar my husband, so so you're welcome for that. I might put up a video of me pregnant sexy dancing because I find pregnant women sexy dancing to be repulsive and I just really think it's a funny shot so I hope you guys enjoy. I, I, I used to pregnant dance for my husband all the time. I told him that I would have loved to have been a pregnant stripper because maybe I would get twice as much in tips because the, technically two ladies dancing on these perverted men. My husband did not find that joke funny. You guys can let me know if you find that joke funny. I'm, I mean, I'm so sorry I showed you this. I just thought it was hilarious. But if you don't like it, I, that's fair. That's fair. You didn't need to see that. <laughs> yeah, back to the video. Just had Rory. I looked. I'll send you. I'll show you a picture. It was awful. <laughs> it's funny because when I was pregnant with her, I was so big. But I think I showed myself a lot of grace because I was producing a baby. You either feel really fat and you feel like you should never be this fat, or you feel really graceful and like beautiful and lucky to be so beautiful and amazing looking and glowing and all that shit. So like, yeah, I was happened to be on that that side of the fence. Instantly, when I gave birth, I I was still overweight. I think. I was 136 pounds. I was still really big, but I did not show myself that grace anymore. Like instantaneously, right after the baby left my vagina, I was like, I need to lose some weight. This is not okay. And that was really awful. I, I wish I could show myself more grace. And I want to tell you that it's totally okay that you're bigger. I thought that I would have time to work out. I thought I would have the energy to work out. I thought I would have the energy to create healthy meals and all this stuff. That's not true. <laughs> After you give birth and you have a baby to take care of, all your needs kind of fall to the sidelines and you're only taking care of your baby. So I think 
the most important thing to do is show yourself some grace. I wish I showed myself more grace. This shit is hard, and if you're big after you had your daughter or your son, I get it. This shit, like, you have no time. How, how are you supposed to lose weight? So I hope this video doesn't bring you down. <laughs> I don't want this video to make you feel like, like, I don't know how this woman lost so much weight. Why can't I do the same thing? I don't want you to, like, shit on yourself because this shit's hard. You're, we're all going through different struggles, and if it makes anyone feel better, I'm just as miserable as everyone else. <laughs> That's a mom. <laughs> I hope that helps you. <laughs> it definitely doesn't help me. Well, it helps me connect with other moms that are just as miserable as me. So now that I've lost a lot of weight, like I'm the leanest I've ever been, I have a size A cup or less. Like, I think Game of Thrones could cast me because of how small my boobs are, because they just have authentic sized boobs on the show. Game of Thrones sequel, if you're looking to cast someone with small titties and has a diverse background, I'm your girl. <laughs> and I know this video sounds really gloaty and it's like, oh my god, I'm so beautiful, blah blah blah, I have such an amazing body, oh my god, everyone would want to F me. But ironically, my husband never F me anymore. He used to F me more before when I had a shittier body. So, it's not true. <laughs> no one's effing this bitch because one, my husband doesn't want to impregnate me. Two, no one wants to touch me because I'm a mom now. So, there you go. It's ironic that my body's so effable because my situation is not. I hope these come off as funny because I'm trying to be funny. I hope you don't think I have problems. I do have problems, but I hope you don't think so. <laughs> Anyways. So anyways, I love my body, it looks amazing, but it wasn't worth it because my child sucked the life out of me. She literally sucked the life out of me. I give her my whole entire life and that's why I'm skin and bones. It's nice to be a little more plump if you have a little bit more life in you, but I don't. Oh lord. <laughs> Here are the tips, finally, after 12 minutes of filming. Tip number one is to breastfeed. This is a very controversial tip. I don't, I'm not team breast is best. I'm not team formula. Like everyone's w waging war against each other for like dumbass reasons. It's like if you feed your kid and your kid is alive and happy, then who the fuck cares? But I have to say, if you're trying to lose weight, it was very helpful that I was uh, team breast. Well, it works for me, it's my values. It doesn't have to be yours, okay? Relax, okay, everyone? <laughs> There's like a baby crying outside and it always, I always think it's my baby. It's fuck, fucking with my head. Breastfeeding helps you lose weight really quickly. That's what helped me. I think you could lose like 500 to 1,000 calories a day just breastfeeding. And by the end of my breastfeeding journey, I was like skin and bones. So that was super helpful. I think that was like the main thing that helped me lose the weight was breastfeeding. So if you can breastfeed, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> oh, I remember. One time I was breastfeeding my kid. She was on me and I was so exhausted. And I was like, wow, this baby, like all babies, is a vampire, but a smart vampire because they keep you alive barely enough so that they can continue to feed off of you for the rest of their life. I mean, obviously, metaphorically, you don't want to be like Game of Thronesy, where you're like, you're still breastfeeding your kid at five. I mean, there's no problem with that if that's what you want to do. But it's a little weird. <laughs> okay, so another thing which is so funny that I'm in a gym. I I, bear, I didn't even touch this thing. It's just up for like for people to believe that I use my gym. It, I think the main thing I do, which I've always done when I was focusing on losing weight or like staying fit and thin and you know feeling the best I can was focusing on my diet. I understand it's really hard to get healthy food on the table for your whole family because of it's fucking hard with a baby. I get it. So instead of what diet industry always tells you to do because they're really just fucking with you. They don't want you to lose the weight. They want you to continue gaining weight but trying to lose weight so that you so that you basically buy all their shit like slim fast or weight watchers and shit like that. If you eat one m and m like one piece of m and m like this little thing of m and m you have to run across the football field to lose that amount of calories. So think of how much like if you ate a whole bag of m and m how much you have to run to lose that many calories. It's just ridiculous. It's never ending and it just doesn't make any sense. So don't focus on exercise. So don't focus on this bullshit gym. It's not helpful. <laughs> Instead of dieting, where it's like they always say, Oh, I'm gonna stop eating bread, I'm gonna stop eating candy, I'm gonna stop eating junk food, blah blah blah. Like, don't do any of that. If you're trying to take something away from yourself, there's like two parts of you a part that's like responsible, basically, like the parent 
that tells you, you can have this. And then there's like this child part of you that's like, no, fuck you, I'm gonna do what I want. It's like this rebellious part of you. That's why you binge, basically, because you're so like, you like deplete all your willpower, and so you binge. And so it's not productive. When you're focusing on what to eat, I would focus on incorporating more food instead of saying, I can't have junk food. I would say, I mean, I still have Cheetos right here, like on the side, and I have like, I have junk food on the side because I eat it on, and it's fine. It's not bad to have the food that you love. It's just that you should incorporate fruits and vegetables that you also love. So, and now that I'm a mom, I cannot just buy broccoli and like wash the bro broccoli and, and then <laughs> cook the broccoli. It's too much work. <laughs> so I've never, I haven't touched fresh produce in a long time. Um, it's very hard to be a mom. <laughs> like sometimes I want to cry because it's so hard. I miss produce. <laughs> It's a weird statement to say for sure. <laughs> it is so weird. <laughs> oh, now I'm just like crying about mom stuff. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's hard. <laughs> Where is the tissues? Just give me a second. Sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry because it's okay to be sad. But you know, women always say I'm sorry. I always say I'm sorry. I don't mean it. <laughs> oh, you probably hate me, my friend. <laughs> Because I always say sorry and sometimes I don't mean it, just trying to appease you. That's my friend's problem, it's not you. Anyways, it's hard for me to incorporate vegetables and I've always been the type to love to eat vegetables. Like my proportions is half vegetables and then a quarter brown rice. It's never white rice. And then um, some kind of protein, either eggs, tofu, or meat. So that's like usually the how I eat my food. And I eat a lot of frozen vegetables these days. Like I'm just microwaving vegetables. It's just the easiest thing to do to like cook vegetables is to microwave vegetables. I think a huge thing for me too is that I eat bland stuff first and then and then the dessert is really at the end so everything is like it's like I'll eat so much healthy like so I'll eat a lot of bland stuff first and then afterwards when I'm super full then I'll allow myself a treat and because I'm already so full I won't eat so much of the treat so that's like my way of like allowing myself to eat anything I want but in a in a way that like still makes me satisfied at the end of it because I'm like nourishing myself mainly and then I deserve a little bit of a treat at the end. That's what I usually do. So um, I wouldn't recommend going on any of those like yo-yo diets because like saying I'm gonna diet until this and then I just I'm gonna go back to the way it was obviously if you go back to the way you were how big you were you're gonna have the same results if you do the same thing basically of course you're still single take a look at yourself you dumb slut anyways it's um uh, it's all about willpower management because we only have so much willpower in our lives and it's really hard to change your habits in the first place so it's better if you can like the new habit that you're trying to incorporate so if, if you're gonna eat fruits and vegetables enjoy the fruits and vegetables that you like so if you like broccoli but but you hate leafy greens, then don't eat leafy greens and add broccoli into your food. And then go slow and be okay with like giving yourself some grace because it's really hard to build habits. It took me like, I think I started eat, trying to eat health, healthy in the end of college and I, I think that's only been like eight years since I've been eating healthy and like focusing on like changing my habits and I would fuck up all the time. So <laughs> allow yourself some grace. I mean, I'm still fucking up. Like I had Cheetos and have like, chopsticks for my Cheetos in the other bag of junk food. It's like that real. <laughs> okay, so let me just break it down one more time so it's easy for you to remember or whatever. First thing is to not focus on exercise. Focus on eating right. And then in that, focus on adding instead of subtracting and adding fruits and vegetables, specifically the ones that you like. So you're focusing on adding fruits and vegetables that you like and then you will automatically leave room for less of the junk food that you like. But oh, I guess another tip would be drinking a lot of water. I mean, you have to when you breastfeed anyways. Like I drink so much water, so thirsty all the time. Like even afterwards, if you're, you're more likely thirsty than hungry and it's easier to recognize if you're hungry if you drink a lot of water first when you feel the hunger pains. So that would be one of my tips. I like keep this jug of water with me all the time. This is my favorite drinking out of a male straw. I put lemon in it like all YouTubers because that's where I got my inspiration from and it's pretty delicious this way. But you can drink water plain. 
Oh, and another thing. In the beginning, this was also my, my biggest thing that I wanted to lose weight to look better. <laughs> I think that's everyone's like prerogative. <laughs> right everyone wants to look like they got abs the six-pack they want the abs so them so them that's what we want we want to look good but I think along my journey to losing weight the main thing that eventually became more important to me was how I felt so I know it was really difficult in the beginning you're gonna feel so sluggish and like you can resist the fact that you're eating like more fruits and vegetables but eventually you're gonna be like this shit like makes me feel good and when you realize that you're starting to diet better because you want to feel better as opposed to how you look like I think it takes the journey like the weight loss journey to like a whole nother level <laughs> I mean my whole life I've been trying to lose weight right like I was in fourth grade when I started my first diet and I think I stopped dieting at the end of college when I decided that I wanted to be healthy instead so I think it took me a long time and it might take you just as long but you might start off in this journey from a place of hating like hating who you are and how you look I think eventually it'll be more about how you feel and like hoping that you feel good in your own skin hoping that the food that you nourish yourself with gives you energy and I think a part of that came from love for myself eventually <laughs> and that's the only reason I look like this <laughs> which is ironic because usually <laughs> and but then you do all this bad stuff to yourself and then so it's hard to look great but if you can come from a place where you love yourself and um, you know love how you are in your own body and your skin <laughs> I love <laughs> becoming a mom makes you cry so much <laughs> I mean, these are good tears though I'm really grateful for my journey and like I hope that I found, sound like such a hippie. I know that people who are watching this might not feel like they're enough right now, but you are. You're always enough. Okay, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I cry all the time. My friends hate it. They're always like, oh my god, Tim's crying again. So dumb. <laughs> Rachel always cries. <laughs> When I was actually at my fattest in college, it was such a weird time for me. I didn't listen to how I felt. I was basically starving myself, but I was like the fattest I've ever been in college. Isn't it kind of ironic? Like the people who are like starving are usually really big. And after I started nourishing my, my body, I'm like super tiny. So it's like, you should take care of your body. We should listen to ourselves when we are hungry. You know, you eat when you're hungry, you stop when you're full, and you try to have a little bit of like dessert after because you still deserve a little bit of something. Yeah, so that was basically all I had for you. Um, thank you for watching. Again, I hope this helps you on your weight loss journey. I hope you give yourself a lot of grace because we all need a little bit of grace. And I hope you send yourself a little bit of love because I know you deserve it. Okay, thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye.